in this video we will learn about how to create the three dimensional model of the angle bracket as per the dimensions shown here all the dimensions given in the drawing are in millimeters let's try to create this angle bracket by using on shape click on create select the document rename the document as angle bracket click on create so in this one this particular cross section is extended for some length that length is 80 mm okay so the cross section is over here so this particular cross section is extended for a length of 80 mm and then we are having the two semicircles attached to it which is having a hole and then we are having a rib here and this is the filleting portion let's try to create it one by one first let us try to make this cross section over here and then let us try to extrude it for a length of 80 mm so for that let me select the front plane click on sketch right click select view normal to sketch plane so in this let's try to draw this line so here let me start from the left side of the origin and then make the second point on the origin like this so let me try to make similar to the portion over here and then let me try to provide the constraints so this length is 50 this is 95 at an angle of 60 degree this height is 60. let's try to provide the dimensions so this is 95 okay Ninety-five. This length is hundred and fifty. The third length is sixty. And this line is inclined at an angle of sixty degree. You can see over here, the line. This line is at an angle of sixty degree with the horizontal. So this line makes an angle of 60 degree with the horizontal. Now the entire line is having an offset of 20 mm. So the uniform thickness is maintained over here with the thickness of 20 mm. So that can be created by using an option called offset. So here is your offset select the offset and click on the lines so here i want to provide on the opposite side so let me select on the other side click change the thickness value to 20 and then select the other series of lines so let me redo it again So select the offset so this one let me flip on the other side select this line and then select this line now change the entire thickness to 5 by left click change the value to 20 now it will do the entire offsetting now let's try to close the profile by selecting the line command so this two and then this two make sure this two is perpendicular and this line is horizontal so select the horizontal and make sure that this is horizontal and the perpendicularity select the perpendicular between this two lines and make sure that it is perpendicular so that the constraints 
is not uh, is properly fitted. So let's come out of it. So this is the cross section of the profile. Now let's try to extrude it for a distance of 80 mm. So select the extrude command, click on the profile. So here you can see the depth in going to extrude is 80. But here the extrusion is happening on one side. I want to keep it on both sides so that in future it will be really useful for making the mirror option. So it will be really useful. So let's try to keep the profile on the center and let's try to extrude it symmetrically with the total depth of 80 mm. So let's confirm it. Now let's try to do this particular filleting. The fillet radius you can see over here. The radius is 20 and the whole diameter is 15. So let's try to make this portions first. So this edge is a curved one here, which is of radius 20. So you can see over here, the radius is 20. First, let's try to make that. Select the fillet option. So entities to fillet is this. So that defaultly the radius is coming as 20. Suppose if it is of different value, you can change the value to 20 mm. And then select the next edge. So that both edges will come for the mentioned radius here. Click on the green tick mark to confirm the fillet. Let's try to make these two holes. The holes of diameter 15 and the distances are provided over here. Let's try to make that. So select this face and make a sketch. Right click. View normal to sketch plane. Let's draw a circle. So the diameter of this circle is 15. So let's make the circle as 15 mm diameter. Let's draw another circle. So let's use the equal constraint to make sure these two circles are of same diameters. Let's try to draw a line of symmetry so that these two will be at the same distances. So let's select the construction line and make it on the center. Let's make sure these two circles are symmetrical. So select the symmetry constraint. This circle and this circle is symmetric with respect to the center one. So now it is getting symmetric. So that if I provide one constraint or uh, one dimension to the one of the circle, the same dimension will be applicable to the another circle. So let's select the distances for constraining it. So it is 20 mm. And from here, the dimension is 20 mm. So the same will be applicable for the other circle too. So if you are providing the constraints based on the symmetry or mirror, so it will be easy to reduce the number of dimensions in a sketch. So let's try to extrude it. So select the extrude. Here face our sketch regions to extrude. You can select it from the sketch. Or you can select 
individually over here. Here actually it is extruding, but we want to remove it. So let's select the remove. Here you can use the blind option or you can use up to next. So that where the next phase is available, up to next phase, it will remove the material. Here you should not select the through all. If you select through all, it will cut through the entire materials which is after it. So you should not select the through all option for this. You should select only up to next or you can give the blind thickness value over here. So best option is choose up to next. So if you choose up to, up to next, it will be uh, easy. Let's confirm. Now let us try to make this semicircular portion and the whole portion over here. So which is the profile need to be drawn along this inclined face. So let's try to make the profile on the inclined face. Let's try to make a sketch and look perpendicular to it. So here this arc radius. So that can be selected from the axillary view which looks perpendicular to this face. So here this outer radius is 25 and the inner circle hole diameter is 25. So let's try to make it. So in order to do that, let's try to project this edge or convert this edge and then let's try to draw this semicircle here. So in order to draw the semicircle, choose the tangent arc option. Also, you select this edge to project it and then select the tangent arc option. Select this line and then this line over here. So you choose the radius, the radius is 25. So the radius is 25 now. Let's draw the circle over here. Let's draw the circle. So here the circle diameter is 25. Now we have drawn the circle. We have to keep the same thing on the other side of it. So let's try to use the mirror option. So mirror, select a mirror line. So mirror line, I can select the plane. So first let's view perpendicular to it. So let's select this plane as a mirror line. Entities to be mirrored, you can select this line this line and the circle. So now we have created the same features on the opposite side with respect to the central plane. Let's confirm it. Now let's try to make the extrusion of this semicircle to a depth. So the depth here is 20 mm. Let's try to make the extrude of this portion. You can see here it's extruding in the opposite direction. So let's flip it. For flipping the direction, you can select the arc, uh, sorry, arrow here, or you can select the arrow here, which will choose the opposite direction and give the depth value as 20 so that it will assign with this. The same way, this face also can be selected at the same time. Let's confirm it. Okay. So now this portion is created, but this semicircular half hole is not yet created. Let's try to make that. So for creating it, 
let's activate the sketch click on extrude select remove face and sketch regions to extrude select that and select the other half of the circle so we have selected the blind depth you can provide it or here you can use the through all option or up to next option so that it will create a hole over here click on the green tick mark to confirm it so now we have created the slanting wall horizontal and vertical wall here so only thing is the center rib need to be created for creating the center rib let's try to draw a profile over here center line that's a rib line over here for that only we have extruded symmetrically because the rib is on the center you can see here the rib is on the center of the rib thickness 10 millimeters so let's try to draw the rib over here so select the frontal plane and make a sketch view normal to the sketch plane so in this one through this entire portion the rib will come so from this tip to from this tip we have to draw a line so whichever is selected uh, below the line that uh, it will create a rib automatically so in order to choose these two endpoints, you can activate the line by using project or you can activate a point by using this project and then draw a line between these two points. Let's confirm it. So you can see that the line is exactly on the center. Okay, so let's try to create a rib. Choose the rib command. Sketch profiles. Select the line. So it will automatically select the portion which is below, the hollow portion which is below it. And then the thickness it is asking. Let's select the thickness as 10 mm and confirm the rib. So you can see here only we have created a line so based on that it is automatically selecting the portion below it so it is automatically drawing the rib area and based on the thickness provided it will select on both sides of the profiles so let's check whether we have missed out anything so we have created the slanting portion horizontal vertical one this fillet we have completed holes we have completed rib portion we have completed and this two we have completed so now we have completed the part suppose if you want to hide the sketches you can hide it by selecting this eye icon so if you click on it whatever the sketches which is active that will be hided if you want to view or hide the plane press p on your keyboard so that you can able to activate or deactivate the planes visibility that's all for this video thanks for watching